In this video, we will learn about JavaScript class inheritance. JavaScript class inheritance allows you to create a new class on the basis of already existing class. Using class inheritance, a class can inherit all the methods and properties of another class. Inheritance is a useful feature that allows the code reusability. To create a class inheritance, we use the extends keyword. So let's create one class. Write the class name person. Add one constructor method. And add one method greet. Console.log. Hello and name. Here I have created one class. Now I will create another class that will inherit all the methods of the person class. So here we will create another class and the class name is a student. Then write the extends. It will extend person. So we are creating Another class with the name student, this student class will inherit all the method and properties from this person class. In this new class, we have not added anything, but let's create one object. Here we'll add const student1. This is the object name is equal to new student and we have to pass one value. Peter. So we have created one object with the name a student one and we are passing one value in this a student. But this a student don't have the constructor and here we have added extends keyword. So it will inherit all the method of this person class and it will pass this Peter here in this constructor and the name will become Peter and we can also call this greet method. So let's Try to call this greet method. We will add a student one dot greet. You can see the output. It is displaying hello Peter. So this property name is available in this person class. This method is also available in this person class. But we are creating the object with the student class and calling this method from the object of a student class. So we can call the method and properties of the parent class. It means a student class is inheriting all the method and properties of the person class. Now let's learn about JavaScript super method. The super method used inside a child class donates its parent class. In this student class, let me create one constructor. Add one parameter and in this constructor we will call super here this super method inside the student class refers to the person class when we create one object using the student class it will call this constructor method automatically then it will call this super and then this super will call this constructor from the parent class which is person class and pass this name here in this constructor then the argument will be stored in the person's name still it will display the same output you can see in the console hello peter let's understand this example again here we have created one person class and we have another class with the name student and this student class inherits the property of the person class so this is the parent class this is child class in this child class i am adding super so this super refers to the parent class which is person class and it will pass this argument in the parent class so this was the super method in javascript now let's understand what is method or property overriding or sideowing method suppose the parent class and child class has the same method or property name in this case, when we call the method or property of an object of the child class, 
it will override the method or property of the parent class. This is known as method overriding or shadowing method. Let's understand the method overriding with one example. Here we have the parent class and this is the child class. In this one, let's create the same method. Greet and in this greet method, we will add console.log hello student plus this dot name and in this one we will add hello person this dot name so you can see in this parent class and child class we have the same method name which is greet in the parent greet it prints hello person and name and in child class this greet method prints hello student and name now if we call the greet method from the object created using child class then it will call the method of the child class you can see the output in the console tab it is displaying hello student peter it means it is calling this greet method from the child class so the method of the child class override the method of the parent class this is known as method overriding now let's learn about javascript static methods static methods are bound to a class not to the instance of the class you cannot call the static method on an object it can be called only on the class so let's declare one class class name is person and in this one let's declare one method this method will display only text hello on the console now in front of this method if i add static it will become the static method now we cannot call this greet method on the object created using the person class we can call this greet method only on the person class let me make it capital p here the name of the class should start with capital letter now let's create one object here we will add const person1 is equal to new person Peter and if I try to access the greet method from the object object name is person1 dot greet it will display one error you can see the console tab it is giving an error now if I add person dot greet I'm adding the class name and greet you can see the output here it is displaying hello now if you want to use these object properties inside this static method then you can pass the object as a parameter so let's take another example here we have the person class then we have the static method in this static method we will add one parameter x and in this console.log i will add hello space x dot name so it will display the name from the object now we can call this greet method from the person class and we have to pass the object let's pass this person one object here and now you can see the output it is displaying hello peter because here i am adding hello then object then property name so from this person object it will get the property name name is equal to name so the name will be peter and here i am adding text hello so hello peter is printed in this console so this is the static method in the javascript now we will learn about javascript private methods private methods are accessible only within the class it means we cannot call the private methods outside of the class by default 
methods of a class are public. To make a method private, we need to start the method name with the has tag. So let's take one example. I will add class person constructor first name and last name. We have two parameters. This dot first name will be first name. Then this dot last name. It will be last name. Now let's create one method in this class. Method name is full name and it will return this dot first name then a space this dot last name so it will return the full name now let's create one object using this person class i will add const person1 is equal to new person and here we have to pass two argument peter and let's add anything b so we have created one object with the name person1 now let's see if i add person1 dot full name we can call this method right and uh, it is returning one value so we can add console.log person dot full name you can see the console tab it is displaying peter b it is returning the full name now if i add hashtag here so this method will become private method now we cannot access this private method outside of this class you can see the output it is giving an error now let's see how to access this private method inside the class so in this class only we will create another method let's create one method called display here we have display method and within this display method i will add console.log and here we can call this method but to call this method we have to add this this dot full name this will refer to the object and this is the private method with the hashtag now we can call this display method outside of the class so simply add person one dot display and it will display the output here in this console tab it is displaying peter b so let's understand this example again here we have declared one class with the name person in this one we have this constructor that will initialize the object properties then we have this private method in this method name i have added hashtag that's why it becomes private method now we cannot call this private method outside of the class we can call this method inside of this class so within this class we are calling this method here and to call this method within the class we need to add this keyword this dot method name with the hashtag so like this we can call the private method within the class now let's learn about private static method this is the private method now we can add the static keyword like this so it will become private static method and we cannot call the static method on the object we can call the static method only on the class so here we have to pass one object while calling this method so here we are calling this method so in this one we will pass the object so we will refer the object with this keyword we will pass the object and here we will add one parameter and from this parameter it will get the first name and last name 
it means it will get the first name and last name from the object that we are passing through this keyword while calling this private static method now you know we cannot call this a static method on the object we can call it on the class so instead of this keyword we will add class name person person dot has full name now you can see the output it is displaying peter b let's understand this example again here we have declared one class in this class we have one static private method now to call this a static private method we will use the class name dot method name with the hashtag and to get the object's properties we are passing the object as argument here we are calling display method from the object this display method will call this class and this static method that is a static and private method so we can access the static private method using the class name person now we have completed class in javascript in the next video we will learn about javascript dom that means document object model i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel great stack to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video